so this is called Boxing the Compass. Boxing the Compass is a nautical phrase which refers to when the wind blows across the face of the compass at each 32 points. Um, and it means metaphorically to change your mind and change it back. And this book is about travel and how you can travel as far as you like, but you're always going to come back to yourself. It's divided into four parts, named after compass points. Um, and it begins with childhood, then it goes to teaching, then it goes to relationships, then it goes to death and illness. So we'll start with the childhood one. Small change. Time was, Greek boys were carried strapped across men's backs in nets, washed wet with the sea, baked like pennies. Their bulbous lips pressed close as armour, flecked with salt and spittle, you'd have thought them seals. Where are our children now? Outside this restaurant? Between these covers? We forget their might to catch the rain in open mouth, teeth the horizon light inside a cave, ease the blade from an anvil. No sooner should a hull breach, the sea's horizon quail, than boys were sent for, availed. It's not their lack of use that gets us now, as the lack of their steadying hands upon the house. And there's a tradition uh, in Exmoor, where I spend most of my Christmases at the moment, um, where we all have a shoot. And the first time I went on this shoot, um, I was entrusted with looking after a five-year-old boy from Portugal um, and taking care of him. So I was holding onto his hand as we went over these rough terrains. But it soon became evident that he was more au fait with shooting than I was. <laughs> and... In Portugal, they have a 24-7 channel that just shows birds being shot out the air and deer um, being culled. So this is about uh, this boy on Exmoor. Pointers uh, are gun dogs. Ringing is, is that kind of ringing. Boxing Day shoot. The hunter's boy is brown from top to toe. He tramps behind Gonzal and Zoe, he claims two kills as his alone and never walks before the barrel. When the mud swipes his boot and the pointers squabble, the boy is holding a woodcock. The hunter's boy is Portuguese. His sister and he share an ease as temperate as wind through trees. Hands sticky with blood and feather. When he rinses his muddy boots in the river, the boy is holding a woodcock. The hunter's boy is solitary-minded. The switch he carries props a skyward glance across the darkling wood. His manners are seeing and doing. When he returns, hands warm from ringing, the boy is holding a woodcock. <laughs>